Hello, faculty and staff. Wow, since March of this year, so many things have happened. We've been distributing packets. We've been doing things differently. I see a lot of things that happen over the course of a year. This year has been like no other. It seemed like so many things were going well up until March of 2020 when our ladies made it to the final four. The community was celebrating and then out of nowhere, we're limiting attendance at our final four games, hunting for something called an N95 mask and listening to the world change through every media outlet imaginable. We had our lunch ladies that stepped up. We were feeding the community. To say our last nine months have been difficult is a, a big understatement. We sprang into action, we, we fed our kids, we produced new methods of educational delivery from scratch. Everybody went to Zoom, everybody went online. But you know what? Here in Tipton, we didn't let the pandemic stop summer school, our activities, and so many things that we do for our kids. I'm so proud we've been able to get so much done in such a short period of time. And there's Margie Van Dieven, I was meeting with the commissioner virtually. Lisa and Leslie have been a lot of help. We had a whole different kind of uh, graduation. And uh, for a while there, we didn't think we were going to get all of these graduates out the door. I'm so proud of our administrators, the teachers that have sprung into action, the support staff that, that made the time. I'm proud that we're from Tipton. We've done so many things and so much more than we normally have done and differently than before. If you don't feel tougher because of this pandemic, then I don't know where you were because I think this has toughened up a lot of us. We have never given up on our kids. These are just a lot of the snapshots and pieces of video that I've shot since last March. And you know, this is one of those years where I didn't feel like I was taking a lot of pictures like I usually do. They're kind of the, the memory or I'll catch something with my eye and I just don't want to forget it or someone will send a picture to me. It's hard to remember everything. And then I look back at my phone and none of us keep big photo albums like we did in the 80s and 90s, but I didn't even capture 1% of all we've done for kids since just March. I didn't catch the special educator teaching students with, with high needs. I probably didn't, I know I didn't see every teacher reading to their class, the secretary calming a student down and stepping into a different role, the administrator struggling to help a parent with their concerns. We even tried to pass a, a bond issue during this time. But, you know, I know there are people out there in our district praying for our kids because a lot of their needs became evident. I know we had a lot of coaches worried about players that don't have support at home. So much of what we do goes unseen, but we didn't give up. Doggone it, we even had prom. My little lens takes a lot of snapshots. And I want to thank you for being there for kids all day, every day, all in, focused on our mission. We did get our kids graduated, thought we were going to do it outside there for a while, ended up indoors. We had a special guest at our graduation, Mr. Shipley came. We didn't let down on our graduates and we wanted to see them have that time. We do so much service for our kids and the way it's changed is just kind of amazing to watch our kids and how quickly they adapt. And sometimes it's us adults that uh, we struggle a little bit. Deca was active over the summer with the Purple Heart ceremony and working with the local veterans. Miss Metter even learned what a gator was along with Lisa and I. We had our band and football team hard at work and I could even stop and take a look at a Luna Moth. There's just a lot to see. And if you don't look up and look around, you won't see that sunrise or sunset. You won't remember that the world is still, still going on. 
and there are a lot of positive things yet to see. And Mr. Kohler got really old this year. I, might, I wanted to throw that out there. We did welcome all of our kids back. We have a lot more signs than we have had before. The kids are adapting to our masks. Really appreciative of the way the elementary school greets all their kids every morning. And they can even tell who they are most times. I, I'm, I'm losing all the names because the masks are covering up kids who are growing. My time at the lunches are a little, a little reduced now. But I'm always amazed to see how young some of our kids are that are getting into technology and using it and adapting it and engaging in it. And kids that still dress crazy. And teachers who always wear inspirational quotes. Thank you, Anna Diggs. But everywhere you look, we've got people working hard for our kids. I hope you have a great holiday season. We did it despite a worldwide pandemic. We've never stopped building the future. Enjoy the rest of these slides.
trombone and say thank you. Trombone and say thank you. Hey, before you do this, make it up a little away from your face. Make the sound that you're about to make into your mouthpiece. Ready? And I really thought this pandemic really aged uh, Coach Culpepper. I, I don't know about you. You might want to go back and look at that picture.
One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Out to a double digit in the first quarter. Myron 